Hello again. Welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to convert photos to a colorful vectors using only Photoshop. As you can see, our final result will be completely a vector. Let's get started. Step 1. Prepare your image. After opening your image, go to Image and choose Image Size. Then, change resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Also, change the smallest value in width or height to 2000 pixels or more. Don't do this with a very low quality images. Now, click OK. Now, I want to isolate the object from the background. You can use the pen tool to make a precise selection, or use any other selection tools, like magic wand tool, or quick selection tool. I had made a selection before. I will hold the control key, then click on this thumbnail, to load it. Now, select the background layer, then press control plus J, to take what I have selected to a new layer. Now, with your layer selected, go to Filter, then choose Oil Paint Filter. In some Photoshop versions, you can find it here, in Stylize menu. Now, click on it. Now, change Stylization to 5. Cleanliness to 4. Scale to 3. Bristle Detail to 4. Lightning Direction to 0 and finally Shine to 0 0.2 As you can see, the Shine value controls the oil details Now click OK If you don't have Oil Paint Filter, please do this step instead Just open the Actions panel, to import an alternative oil action You can download this action from the description below Double click to import it. Now, open the action and select Run. And make sure that, you layer is selected. Then click this Run icon. Now, after applying the oil effect, with the oil paint filter, or with the action. Go and select your layer, then go to Image. Adjustments. And choose Desaturate. Now, create a Levels layer. Clip mask it, to affect only layer 1. Add posterize layer, and clip mask it. Posterize levels value, determine how many colors you want. If you change it to 2, you will get a black and white colors only. And if you change it to 3, you will get black, gray, and white. Let's keep it 4. Now, we will get a 4 colors, 2 gray colors and black and white. Now, double-click Levels layer to open it. This is to adjust each color density. By dragging these sliders, you will see a significant change in all color distribution. Every image varies. So stay flexible and keep testing. In my case, I increased the white color and decreased black, to add more contrast, and show more details. Now, select the top layer, then hold Shift, and select layer 1 to select all three layers. Then, right-click and choose, Merge Layers. Now, with your layer selected, apply the oil paint filter again. Change Stylization to 10, and Cleanliness to 5. And keep all other values as they are. Then click OK. If you don't have the oil paint filter, please apply the action instead. Just select the layer, then select Run and run the action from here. Now, change layer name to base. And let's move to the next step. Step 2. Vectorizing everything. Now, with a simple trick, we will create a vector layer for each color. This process is kinda long, but it is very easy and repetitive. Let's get started. First. Double-click the base layer, to open layer style. Under Blending Options, go to Blendif. 
In this particular case, I'm telling Photoshop to hide the colors, that smaller than the slider value. As you can see, colors disappear and appear by sliding. Now, let's isolate the white color first. Just drag the slider to hide all colors, except white. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the base layer. Right click that duplicated layer, and choose Convert to Smart Object. Hold the Ctrl key, then click on Layer Thumbnail, to load selection. Now, go and pick any selection tool. Then, right click inside the selection, and choose Make Work Path. Change Tolerance to 1.5, and click OK. Now, this will make a path, let's create a vector layer from it. Just simply, go and create a solid color layer. To fill the path, and a vector layer will be automatically created. Change color to white, and click OK. Rename it, Highlights. And delete the duplicated layer. Now, as you can see, I have a vector layer for the white color. If you make a selection with the direct selection tool, you will see the vector anchor points. Now, hide the highlights layer, and show base layer. And let's continue. Since all previous steps, will be repeated for the next three colors. I made an action with the same steps, to make it easier for you. Let's import it from the actions panel. From this little icon, Click on Load Actions. Double click it to import. You can download this action, from the description below. As you can see, this action will create 4 vector layers, from the 4 colors. We made the first color, which is white, manually. The other 3 colors will be made automatically, through the action. Let's start by the next color, which is gray. I call it here, Midtones 1. Double click the base layer, to open layer style. Drag the slider, until you see this gray color. Before running the action, make sure that the layer name is Base, with capital B. Now, select Midtones 1, and run the action from this little icon. Now, our second vector layer is created. Again, Double click the base layer. Move the slider, until you see the second gray color. Then click OK. Select the second mid-tones action. Then click the run button. Great. Let's move to the final one. Again, double click the base layer. Move the slider to zero. Then click OK. Now, run the shadow action. That's it. Now we have a complete vector drawing, from a 4 vector layers. Unhide all of them, to see the final result. Select the shadow layer, then hold shift and select the first layer, to select them all. Drag and drop to group them. Name it vector group. Now, delete the base layer, and let's move to the final step. Last step, change colors. Now, to change colors, you need to double click this small shape icon. Then, from the color picker, start picking your color. I will keep shadows color black. Now, change the mid-tones color, to any color you want. Pick any dark color here. Again, change the other mid-tones color. Pick a light color here. Leave highlights white. Now, I want to colorize these areas. You can simply do this by, creating a new layer above mid-tones layer. Right click it and choose, create a clipping mask. Now, pick the brush tool. Then, change the foreground color to dark brown. Select the layer. 
then start painting over it. As you can see, the paint is only limited to the mid-tones 2 layer. Again, select mid-tones 1 layer, then create a new layer above it. Right-click it and choose, Create a Clipping Mask. Change the foreground color, to a light brown color. Then start painting over it. That's it. Also, as you can see, you can repeat the same process with any part like this. Now, double-click the shadow layer, to add stroke. Change size to 8 pixels, with outside position, and black color. Then click OK. Now, by transforming the vector group like this, you will never observe any pixelation at all. And the final result, will be a very detailed vector drawing. Please like the video, and subscribe for more free tutorials. And leave a comment below, if you need any help. Thanks for watching.